Three years ago, and man, time flies, but three years ago, I was first introduced to Daniel George. Now this is a custom clothing company with locations in Chicago, San Francisco, and they're opening a brand new location in Charlotte, North Carolina this fall. But back then, three years ago, I made two different videos about my experience getting fit and measured for a custom suit, a few shirts, and some shoes. And if you haven't seen those videos, I'll leave both links down below because they were incredible and you guys really liked those videos also. Now, the first video that I made was where I went to San Francisco and got measured and fitted. And the second video is when I went back for my final fitting. And then of course I got to pick everything up. And personally, I'm glad I got to know Daniel because he is seriously one of the coolest and most charismatic people I think I've ever met. Go see those videos and you'll see. We all had a blast together. So fast forward to a few months ago, Daniel reached out and offered to make me a new sports jacket with no strings attached. He didn't want a promotion. He didn't ask me to make a video, nothing, because that's just the kind of guy that he is. So after some back and forth, we set up a date in mid-July a few months ago, and that was for me to go back to San Francisco to pick up the jacket. The surprise was not only did he make me a new jacket, but also two brand new shirts and a pair of their amazing new leather sneakers. And because he still had all of my measurements from three years ago, he was able to work off of all of those measurements plus any recent changes to my body shape over the last three years. And he used all of that to build me a new jacket and those shirts. And that's one of the beauties of working with a custom company like Daniel George, because they do such a detailed job when they fit you and take all the measurements that everything they do fits you perfectly. And because they keep all of your measurements on file, it makes it simple if you wanna order new pieces because you know everything is gonna fit you perfect. Now, this is where things get a little bit wonky. Not for them, for me, because I had planned on filming everything and making a whole travel vlog when I was up there and traveling around. And I did start, and I'm gonna show you that footage here in just a second, but I always have such a hard time vlogging. I don't know why, because this is fine, but out in public, it's a different story. So basically, I stopped filming after this clip that you're about to see. So here's some of what I started to film, and then I'll come back after this clip and then show you all the new pieces that I picked up from Daniel George. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to sunny San Francisco. So this video is gonna be, I think, a little bit different. I just got out of the car driving eight and a half hours from Temecula all the way up here to San Francisco. A bit of a drive, one stop, I just barreled straight through, had pretty decent traffic. I rented a car. I didn't want to bring my car and put all the miles on it. I was going to fly in for this meeting, but you guys know, and I've talked about this, that I've always wanted to do Highway 101 and do like Monterey, Big Sur, Pebble Beach, and do a lot of that sort of, you know, um, Central Coast uh, highway. And I figured, you know what? If, I'm gonna, if I have to be in San Francisco, I'm going to drive up, get here in a day, do the meeting, and then take like two or three days to go back down south. Staying here at the, uh, at the Omni in downtown San Francisco. Tomorrow night, I have a room in Monterey, but then I've got, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I'm just gonna sort of play it by ear. I thought that I might go maybe do Hearst Castle. I'm not sure. I might go into Paso Robles and maybe do a little wine tasting. I haven't really figured it out yet. I just know that I'm taking a few days and uh, I'm just gonna dink around the central coast for a little bit and just sort of slowly make my way back down south. So, but I do have a kind of a cool dinner tonight. Um, I don't know anyone in San Francisco other than the folks I'm going to go see tomorrow. There's a, a female influencer, if you want to call it that, or a content creator. Uh, her name's Samantha. She goes by Stung by Samantha. And She's kind of like me and what I do on YouTube and Instagram, but she does it for women over 50. A little bit different. She does hair and makeup and fashion. Anyway, long story short, I, I follow her. We follow each other. And so I'm like, I'm going to hit her up. So last night, I sent her a DM on Instagram and said, you know what? Hey, I'm going to be in San Francisco tomorrow night. What are you doing? You want to have dinner? Let's just hang out and talk shop for a little while. And she's like, yeah, cool. So we decided on a restaurant. And what is it? It's almost three o'clock. We've got a six o'clock uh, dinner thing. So we're going to go do that. Should be a pretty good time. We'll keep you guys posted. All right, gang. I think we need a bit of a room tour here, first of all. All right. So like I said, I'm staying at the Omni, downtown San Francisco. 
pretty basic, pretty cool though, not too bad, good enough for me. I'm just here one night. Uh, bed looks pretty cool and comfortable, right? Not too shabby, not too shabby. And uh, we've got a couple of windows with a bit of a view. You guys wanna see my view? All right, this is my view. It's a pretty dense city down here. So it's basically, I'm looking at another office building, but it's a beautiful day. The sun is out. Uh, yeah, this is what we've got. Anyway, that's as much as I filmed. And I know I need to get better at vlogging. But anyway, I did end up meeting with Samantha for dinner and we had an absolute blast. We got along perfectly and there was never any shortage of conversation from really the second that I sat down. We had great food, we had a couple glasses of wine and I think we we're probably there for a few hours. We talked about our social media, our YouTube channels and a little bit about our past lives and we even ended up making a few funny videos for her TikTok account. She's definitely a quality individual. So if you have a woman in your life who you think might resonate with her, Turn her on to Samantha and go give her a follow. Now, okay, before we get too far, let me show you what you probably came here for. Now, like I mentioned, there's this jacket, two shirts, and a pair of their new amazing leather sneakers. Now, everything fits perfect. And this jacket is something that I would have 100% chosen for myself because listen, full disclosure, I had no idea what he was making before I even showed up. He hit an absolute home run because this color and this pattern is perfection. And I think one of the things I love most about this is that it goes with practically anything. The color, the style, the pattern make this incredibly versatile because really you can wear this casual or dressy. All right, so here are the two new shirts, this one in white and this one in blue. I love the spread collar and of course this double button detail on the cuff. The fit is flawless and the little detail that he added to the collar makes this unique and a true one of a kind. Then we've got these amazing sneakers. These are no joke. So these are made in Italy and their production has roots in the Marche region, which has been known as a district of excellence for the production, specifically of footwear since about the 13th century. And all of their raw material suppliers operate in an area of like just 10 kilometers. These are absolutely beautiful. They're incredibly comfortable and I think I think these sneakers might be a brand new item for them because I didn't see them on their website just yet as I'm filming this video, but feel free to reach out to them directly if you're interested. But let me just say one more time that Daniel did not ask me to make this video and this is not sponsored in any way. But if you're interested in anything that you saw here or if you just wanna go check out everything else that they do, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of their information down below in the video description. And I really do encourage you guys to go hit them up if you have any questions. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to take a couple days to drive back south towards home, and I really didn't have a plan, right? I mean, I had Monterey booked, so that was gonna be my first stop on my way out of town. So I had never been to Monterey before, and because the hotel I booked was walking distance to the pier and to Cannery Row, I just spent a couple hours walking around the city and the waterfront, and I also found this amazing little wine bar. And if you're ever in the area, you have to go check this place out. Now, I also had something kind of interesting happen to me while I was in that little wine bar, and maybe you remember this if you follow my Instagram, but I'm sitting there hanging out by myself, enjoying a nice glass of wine and a little charcuterie board, and I'm sitting in front of this big window that's facing the street. I noticed this couple coming down the sidewalk, and they stopped in front of this window, and they looked inside. I didn't really pay much attention to it, but the next thing I know, the guy walks in and walks right up in front of my table and says, hey man, how do you do it? So of course, I thought maybe at first that he recognized me from YouTube, so I just said, like, what do you mean? How do I do what? And then now other people who were sort of sitting near me are like getting kind of curious and he, he smiled and said something like, how can you just sit there looking as cool as you look, drinking wine and eating food like you just don't have a care in the world? And, I just kind of started laughing a little bit and said like, I don't know, brother, that's just what I do. And we both laughed and he, of course, told me to have a great day and he left. That was it. And that's probably one of the most random and interesting things that might have ever happened to me. So after all of that, I started walking back up towards my hotel, but I found another little wine bar along the way. And then I stopped in somewhere else, like a little corner bar for a little flatbread pizza. The next morning, the only thing that I wanted to do was go see Pebble Beach in person. 
I'm a big golf guy and I've never seen Pebble Beach before in person, but it was only like 15 minutes away, so I had to go see it. I wasn't sure like how accessible the clubhouse or the golf course would be, but when I got there, it was super easy to walk around. But I think because it's just so touristy, there's this whole kind of shopping area with clothing and jewelry and souvenirs. So I spent a little bit of time cruising around all these little shops before trying to make my way over to the main clubhouse. There's a really beautiful restaurant right inside with these amazing views of the 18th hole and the Pacific Ocean. As I'm standing there, looking out the window towards the 18th green, it's like it wasn't roped off or anything, so I decided to just walk down as far as I could until maybe somebody asked me to leave. No one asked me to leave and I was able to walk all the way down to the 18th green and it was just so, it was cool for me because I've seen the golf course on television for years. The view is amazing and it was just really cool to be there. Next time, I gotta make a tee time so I can actually play the golf course. I hope you guys are still with me because I know this video is a little bit random, but anyway, at this point, I needed to get back in the car and start heading south. I wanted to take Highway 1 all the way down and see Big Sur and the Bixby Bridge, but there was a bunch of landslides earlier this winter and there's sections of Highway 1 that are still closed. So I jumped over to the 101 and I thought about spending the night in Paso Robles and then doing like some of the wineries and stuff over there. But when I was looking for hotels on my phone, everything was just insanely expensive. And it turns out that it was fair week that week in Paso and the whole town was just packed. So I decided to keep going south and go into Santa Barbara. I've been to Santa Barbara once before and I really enjoyed it. So I rolled into town, I parked off State Street and I walked out on Stern's Wharf and got some really good seafood for lunch. And I was trying to decide whether I was gonna stay the night or just continue and just drive home. But it was such a nice day, of course, I decided to stay. I booked a room at Hotel Milo, which is right on the main boulevard with really cool views. Then I walked over to Jay Wilkes Tasting Room, which I've been to before, had some delicious wine and some nice aperitivo. Then I went next door to Finney's and got some nice dinner. The next morning, I had breakfast down the street at Chad's, which was amazing, before, of course, hitting the road and heading home. All in all, it was a really nice solo trip. And if you're ever in the area, I do recommend exploring Santa Barbara because there's, there's this area that occupies a few blocks and it's called the Funk Zone. And there's lots of really cool wine bars and breweries. So again, I do apologize for not filming this whole thing because it would have been really cool. And I do know that I need to get better at vlogging. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this random video. And if you made it this far, you are definitely one of the true legends. Go check out Daniel George at the link below. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.